Mr. Corsi here. Because the golden ratio is irrational, these Penrose tiles cannot tile periodically. Now, this video will explain that extraordinary statement. Now, there is a link below the video to a cutout sheet. Make a set of the tiles, play with them, so that you can properly understand how difficult it is to tile with these tiles. One method of tiling is called inflation. We can start with a piece of tiling and each kite in that tiling gets replaced by smaller versions of the kites and darts. It then is inflated back up to the normal size and that gives a new piece of tiling. So if we start with a piece of tiling and replace each kite there's the kite. We place each kite by this piece of tiling. That's what inflation does. Now a similar process is going on at the same time for darts. In the original tiling, here's a dart. We make a covering of smaller kites and darts. And then this piece is inflated back to a normal size. And that now gives us a new piece of tiling. So the original darts in the piece of tiling we've got, all of them will get replaced. So this shape in the original tiling will get replaced by this shape in the new tiling. So that's the process of inflation. Let's see that process now in action. So let's look uh, more closely at the results of these various iterations of the inflation. There's the first iteration, second iteration result, and the third iteration. And we'll look at the original kite shape and try and follow that through these various iterations. So we get to the first iteration, the overhangs, if you like, we'll get rid of them. The second iteration, there's the kite shape, get rid of the superfluous stuff around the border and also the third iteration there it is. Now purpose of doing that is to look precisely at the kites and darts. We start with one kite and no darts. Move on to two kites and there's two half darts which make up one dart. Two kites, one dart. Second iteration if we count them, five kites, three darts and moving on third iteration we get 13 kites and 8 darts. And you might recognise the sequence of numbers as the Fibonacci sequence, the Fibonacci numbers. What's interesting is the ratio of kites to darts from one iteration to the next. We've got 2 to 1, 5 to 3, 13 to 8 as the tilings enlarge due to the inflation. Here's a table showing the first seven iterations with the numbers of kites and darts. Remember this all starts from a kite. So the ratio 2 to 1, 5 to 3, 13 to 8. Let's look at them as decimals and you can see that they seem to be heading off to one particular number and that number is the golden ratio. 1 plus root 5 over 2. They all seem to be heading off to that number. Let's see if we can generalise from this particular example of inflation. 
Let's look at the number patterns. Kites to darts. Two to one goes to five to three. So we're taking the one plus the two gives us the denominator. Then the two plus the three gives us the numerator. Using letters, k plus d would give us the denominator and k plus k plus d makes 2k plus d for the numerator. Let's go second iteration to third iteration. 3 plus 5, denominator. 5 plus 8, numerator. Add kites and darts. k plus d, denominator. k plus k plus d, 2k plus d for the numerator. Third iteration to fourth iteration, same pattern holds. 8 plus 13, denominator. 13 plus 21, numerator. So the k plus the d add, the kites and darts, denominator. k plus k plus d, 2k plus d for the numerator. So from one iteration to the next, the same pattern holds. Ratios of kites to darts changes in this fashion. Now we can see why that is going to happen. Here's a kite. And under the process of inflation, that kite is responsible for two kites and two half darts. Two kites and a dart. There's your numerators. And we look at the same process for a dart, every dart in the tiling. And each dart is responsible under inflation for one kite and two half darts, or one kite and one dart. Here it is in the denominator. Each dart gives rise to a kite and a dart. I remember two things were happening. As each iteration proceeds, these ratios approach closer and closer to 1 plus root 5 over 2, and the tilings got larger and larger. So if we have an infinite tiling, any infinite tiling, with a ratio kites to darts k over d, then we go through a process of inflation. And remember, we're doing this on an infinite tiling now. Then the ratio of kites to darts becomes 2k plus d over k plus d. And because they're infinite tilings, these two expressions must be equal. k over d must be the same as 2k plus d over k plus d. Now let's use that fact and do some mathematical analysis. So for this infinite tiling, this Penrose tiling, k over d is the same as 2k plus d over k plus d. First move, let's divide top term and the bottom term by d. So both terms on the top will get divided by d and both terms on the bottom of the fraction get divided by d. Now I'm interested in the ratio of kites to darts. So let's call k over d x. And what we're looking at is x equals twice x plus d over d is just 1 divided by x plus 1. And then we can proceed multiplying both sides by x plus 1. Gets rid of that fraction. Multiply out the brackets. Subtract 2x from both sides. Subtract 1 from both sides. Now, we do know something about the general 
quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Where we know there's two solutions, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. In this case, we know that a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 1. So in this case, x is negative b, which is negative of negative 1, plus or minus square root of b squared, negative 1 squared is 1. Now 4ac, a times c is negative 1, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4, and if we subtract negative 4, it's like adding 4 over twice a. So we get 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now this ratio of kites to darts must be a positive number. k over d is positive. So there's only one possibility. The ratio of kites to darts is 1 plus root 5 over 2. And that is the golden ratio. And remember that worked for any infinite Penrose tiling. And this number is irrational. It cannot be written as the ratio of an integer divided by another integer. Now suppose we could have an infinite Penrose tiling using these tiles uh, that was periodic. It would have a patch that repeats and necessarily in that patch the kites to darts ratio would have to be rational and that would extend to the whole infinite tiling. We've just shown in what we've done here that any infinite Penrose tiling the kites to darts ratio has to be irrational so therefore we have shown that there's no periodic infinite Penrose tiling using these two Penrose tiles. That's why they're called an aperiodic set of tiles. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out and I hope you enjoyed this video.